I'm Arthur Johnson and I've been in the AMA since 1953. Uh, I fly Navy carrier per control line for competition. Been uh, working at Kid Venture since 1999. It's my understanding that the control line flying started back in 1997 with a group of modelers from the Milwaukee Circle Cutters. And then in 98, uh, SIG was here with the Half A Sky Ray and the Cox engines, and they flew that, but had problems with the Cox engines. Uh, I was then recruited in, to come up in 99 and solve their Cox engine problems, which I found was the fact that they were flying on this grass runway over here that's almost as hard as concrete. And SIG then came out with the Bratco Sky Baby. The Bratco Sky Baby was the first used in 2001, and this is the modified version of where we've reinforced the sides, added some screws to the uh, spar to hold it together, and we flew that then until last year. And the first two and a half days that we flew, I threw away six airplanes. At that point, the gentleman from St. Louis showed up with our new design, the Tough Baby. On the Tough Baby, they had a total of five airplanes. We flew those five airplanes for the rest of the week, four and a half days. We're flying now in 2011. We're still using the same five Tough Babies. This year, we've had many, many requests from people to uh, send them the plan set. Uh, some of the nice features about this is it's virtually indestructible. We've had many of them just good, good nose in straight in with the engines. Um, the, it's made out of four millimeter core blast. Uh, in the original design when it came out, they were a little light on tip weight, so we determined the correct amount of tip weight that was needed. Um, we made an adjustment to the lead out position from forward to back. We've determined that the hinges work fine, but we need to replace them on a regular basis. For one large piece, one small piece of core plast and a rudder and this is pine wood uh, it's, we've got some made out of yard sticks from the Lowe's hardware the motor mount is just a piece of plywood and we rubber band the motor in place what we do in making it is, is I have a, a cardboard plan which I lay down on, on the material align it up drill a hole drill another hole and then that keeps it in place. I outline the whole airplane with, on, the, on the material with a magic marker. I then cut it out with a jigsaw and then grind it to shape with a Dremel sanding disc. Um, that takes probably a half hour. The stick assembles in just a few, few minutes. Uh, it depends on how, how fancy you want to get or how nice a finish you want to have. This is epoxy paint, two coats. Again, I'm probably only putting 10 minutes of time in it, actually painting it, but it, it has to dry and all that. Total construction time for me is about two to three hours. One of the things about the design is we put the cabin on so that it's very easy to hand launch. No wheels. 